Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is part three of my general reading for a school friend. So I've put some cards aside that I felt I needed some more clarity on. We've seen a situation where someone is blocking communication from someone and someone is in denial about something. So either it's a connection that they have with another person or it's something else that they are resisting. So I'm just busy shuffling the cards now and then I want to see what comes up for the advice. So the cards that I need clarity on are the Tower and then the Knight of Wands reversed with the Page of Wands because I felt like someone's coming in with a message or a notice of some kind and this person wants you to take action towards them or towards something. Okay, I just have to add that before I started shuffling these, the three of wands fell on the floor again, which is just confirming to me that you are thinking a lot about the future thinking where will I be in the future, what will the future be like, perhaps you're trying to create a better future for your son. That's what I feel like we're all trying to do with the COVID story, I feel like we all feel really bad for our children, we feel like things are out of control and we are worried about the future definitely. Worried is perhaps not the right word but we are concerned I think the best thing to say is just that certain things are out of your control. So you can only try to control what is within your control, right? The rest is kind of out of your hands for now. Okay, let's see what is coming up for advice. Two of Cups reversed. So I don't know if there's a connection in your life that has been going a bit wonky. When it's in the upright, it's true love, it's a good connection, mutual connection, mutual understanding. Keep in mind it's not necessarily love, it's being on the same page as someone. So I don't know if you've been feeling like things have been going a bit downhill. That's not that great. I was hoping for something more positive, really. But as I said, I have no control over what cards come up. And there is the sun reversed, which is why I'm saying your child has given you that joy. He is the light of your life. He's your absolute everything. The same two cards, guys. The hanged man reversed. Three of swords. Actually, now the hanged man is in the upright. Three of swords in reverse. It is telling me definitely that there is some kind of heartbreak that you've been dealing with. And it's left you feeling like you don't really know what to do. You're kind of just checking things out, feeling quite stuck, not wanting to see things from a different perspective with the hanged man. But it's maybe telling you to try to see something from a different point of view. Although we can't always do that, right? Easier said than done. Okay, you have two of pentacles reversed, which is you juggling two different things, options, or people, or even situations. It also can show me that you are tired of juggling these things since it's, since it's in the reverse. So you're trying to to get rid of the confusion and you're trying to prioritize what is important in your life or perhaps it is a message to you to try to prioritize better. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse which is just speaking about fate and about certain things happening that are, as I said, out of your control. 
but it's in reverse so i'm feeling like you feel a bit lost you feel like because certain things are out of your control you don't really know how to go forward four of swords reversed you've been feeling maybe like you need to take time out rest but i feel like your situation your domestic situation your role as a mother is not really always allowing you that downtime i feel like your life is very fast paced you're not getting rest you're not you're not well rested if that makes sense it's like you're not getting enough rest that's all i can say maybe feeling a bit overworked there is that number three again this number three keeps coming up so please google the spiritual meanings of the number three a situation where more than two people are involved something like going to seek advice from other people trying to build something together going for guidance going for therapy going for counseling Okay, weird, weird energy coming in now. Five of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. Four of Wands talks about marriage and commitment. Often it talks about a twin flame connection because it's 11-11, right? But then it comes with a card that's not very positive. It comes with a heavy energy of poverty or financial hardships or someone being left out in the cold. I don't know if it's saying that a connection will work despite all the struggles that you've endured or it's saying that there have just been too many struggles and it's somehow affecting the commitment. It definitely has an influence on this commitment and when I flipped the deck over now I saw the Hierophant which speaks about marriage and values and morals and tradition the Empress which talks about fertility womanhood possibly pregnancy in the near future coming in it is the main pregnancy card but it could also speaking about a project that is growing. It's not necessarily a physical pregnancy. It's like a project is growing. It's the birth of a new idea, something like that. Ace of Pentacles, you could be getting a job offer or an increase, um, a job increase or a promotion at work. Or someone could be giving you some money as a gift with that ace of pentacles but I'm feeling like the universe is telling you to get out of hermit mode so I know what it's like with COVID to be working from home to be with a small child to have a lot of responsibilities and looking after the house cleaning, things like that, it's no wonder that a lot of us have become hermits. But maybe it's telling you to not be a hermit anymore, to get out, take action, enjoy life, take chances with a fool, take an opportunity. All right, the lover's card is here, which is the card of Gemini. So I was looking at the tower card now and I was asking about what this is all about. What this tower moment means. And then the lovers came up. Now, I really hope that I'm wrong because considering the cards we've seen and the number three, this whole reading may or may not be referring to a three-way relationship or a love triangle. I don't see the Seven of Swords, which is the card of infidelity. 
And it doesn't have to mean the third aspect is a person. It could just mean that someone is spending too much time with their work and they're not working on the connection. Someone is maybe neglecting their relationship because they're overworked. They're guilty of cheating with their job. But then again, it could mean a three three-way relationship or a love triangle. Again, it's saying take action with the Queen of Wands. Take that opportunity. Take that chance. Be free. If an opportunity comes your way, take it. I feel like now is your time to shine. But it may be, will require you to leave something behind. So it could be like leaving an old job for a new job. Or leaving an existing relationship for singlehood. Something like that. But this is someone turning their back on something and walking away. Right now you're still indecisive about it with the two of swords. A or B, should I stay, should I go? But the High Priestess says, use your intuition. Because ultimately I can tell you X, Y, and Z. And it always will be your choice. Because we all have free will. And I can't force you to do something. It's not in my hands anyway. I'm just the messenger and I'm giving you different possibilities. I'm not saying that things are st set in stone. And that they will necessarily work out this way. It is up to you. If you don't like the course that your life is taking, the direction things are going in, you ultimately can change it. But certain things are fated. Certain things are out of your control. So keep that in mind, please. All right. I hope that resonated with you. I hope it all made sense. Thank you very much to everyone else for watching. Bye for now.